guys, it's Scott here and welcome to today's 6pm content video. Hopefully, this is going to be really, really good. We're going to start things off by jumping in and seeing what is on today's loading screen. If you do enjoy it, please do hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to see daily FIFA streams and videos. And if you want to see anything else, make sure that you uh, go and follow us over on Twitch. We are streaming Warzone, Rocksmith and a load of other things as well. I don't know why I'm not getting a loading screen here. Right, I need to take a screenshot of this. 97 pace, 97 dribbling. Zahar or Felipe Anderson, surely. 93 dribbling, 91 passing. That could actually be... One of those has got to be Felipe Anderson, right? Surely. Surely Felipe Anderson. Okay, now, do we actually have an SBC? Because if not, we don't have a video. Okay, we do. Flashback Nuri Sahin. It's not Henderson that people are saying in the in the middle because he's not in the vote. He's not in the vote, sadly. So it's it's not him, right? We got Nuri Sahin. Three star skills, four star weak foot. It's not incredible, but for a CDM, it's fine, right? It's okay. Medium medium work rates are fine. 5 foot 11, good height for this game. Pace is okay, sprint speed a little on the low side, but acceleration's good. For CDM, his shooting stats are fantastic. Fantastic. Because he's not really going to be getting in the box, so to have 91 long shots, 99 shot power, he's going to be banging them in if you're shooting from like 25 yards. Passing stats are nearly perfect. Those are amazing. Dribbling stats, reactions and composure are fantastic. Ball control and dribbling, very good. Agility and balance, that's fine. Uh, for someone that's 5 foot 11 at a CDM spot, that's that's okay. That's that's doable. If you wanted them as like a striker or something like that, it might need to be a little bit higher. But for CDM, that's not too shabby. Uh, defending stats are really good. Really solid. And then 80 Stamina. Now, I don't know if 80 Stamina is that much of a problem for a CDM. I can't really think about what... What kind of Stamina I've been using on CDMs this year, to be honest with you. So, I don't know if that's that bad or not. Strength, Aggression, Jumping, really, really good. This actually looks like a solid card. It might be a bit hard to get into teams. He's strong links to Rashika as a shapeshifter. Turkey. He'll soft link to soon. She's team of the season when that comes out next Friday. So that's fine. Other than that, interesting. What other links does he have? Oh, isn't Edgerstein also uh isn't he also Werder Bremen? Let's very quickly have a little look on Footspin and then we'll look at his price and everything else. That goes with it. So Nuri Sahin, flashback SBC. Uh, links. He does have a hyperlink to top rack. Okay. Strong links. Oh, so interesting. So his strong links. He does have Rashika. He's got Sergeant, who was a level fifteen storyline. Um, choice that I, I feel like most people took Thorsby, but Sergeant was one of those. You've got Edgerstein's foot birthday card. You've also got Future Cell's Kabak strong linking to him. So he's actually not got awful links, to be honest with you. And I if, if you can get him in a triangle with Kabak and potentially say into team of the season, that could be sick. That could be really, really good. So, this isn't too bad. Um, in terms of his cost, we're looking at an 83 with a team of the week and an 85 without a team of the week. So, that is the same price as Fuchs. That is the same price as the, the Twins SBC as well. They both came in at roughly 125k. So... I'm going to quickly, I'm going to see if 
you can still search for this. Like Luke's SBC? Doesn't look like you can on Footbin. Can I just search for his card? And then it should say how much the SBC was. So it said that Fuchs was 150k. Now if I go to Raphael, that was the same requirement. Oh, that doesn't have his price for some reason. Fabio? Oh, maybe it won't have the price because it was a player pick rather than just a normal SBC. I mean, it's going to cost you roughly, again, uh, 125k. Something along those lines. So... It's not bad value. It's it's not that bad if you have a Bundesliga team. If you don't have a Bundesliga team, it's going to be very hard to get him on full chemistry. Uh, unless you also have a lot of icons. But if you have a lot of icons, then I doubt that you'd want Sahal, uh, Sahin in your team. I don't know. It, it's not outrageously expensive. But it's not insanely cheap either you've got to think if that card came out in team of the season tomorrow it wouldn't cost 125,000 coins and it would be tradable so maybe it's a little bit too expensive but the whole hype point today is not him it's who are these players for team of the season. Now, because I've got a load of sun glare, which is why my face seems really bright and everything, I can't actually see if there are any, like, numbers on this screen or anything for, like, teasers. Uh, so I'm going to quickly check Twitter to see if anyone has seen any, like, numbers or anything on this screen. A lot of people are saying Phillips from Leeds. Um, Zaha. I, I think the one that's got 97 pace and 97 dribbling. It's got to be Felipe Anderson or Zaha, doesn't it? Right? Surely. His pace and dribbling are... Only one stat apart. So that would work. That would definitely work. What about Zahar? Zahar's a four different. So that seems unlikely to me that he would go up to 97 on both. That would also be... Hmm. I feel like... I feel like Felipe Anderson is more... More likely... Uh, oops, for the for the left hand side one, right? So that card would be absolutely monstrous, right? Ninety seven pace, ninety seven dribbling, and then the rest to go with it. This CDM with ninety one defending, it would make sense if it was that Phillips. On the right, 90 rated, 91 passing and 93 dribbling. This is a tough one based on the players that we've seen. You've got people like Busquets, who was in there. Uh, Busquets' base card has 80 passing and 81 dribbling. So the difference between the two stats would potentially add up there. Someone says... If you look at the bottom left by the pitch markings, there are numbers there. I can't see that on my screens because of the glare right now. Sadly. Um, but there are definitely a couple of options that it could be. Uh, oops. So... I don't know. Busquets wouldn't get a plus one overall. Oh yeah, that's true. So it's definitely not Busquets. It, it wouldn't be Thiago either. Jorginho is not a bad shout. Uh, but then his dribbling is lower than his passing. And that card has higher dribbling than higher passing. Bentancur... That would work. That would work. So, I mean, 
Hey, we're just going to have a little bit of patience, right? We will have to wait until tomorrow to see. I have a couple of packs saved on my PS4 account. I have a couple of packs saved on my Xbox account. And we'll also be opening packs on other people's accounts as well. So... That's going to be it for the video element. Obviously, the stream is going to keep going, but the video is going to end there. Thank you very, very much for watching again. If you did enjoy it and you're hyped for Team of the Season, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.